Hello, I'm Coach Graham, Athletic Director for Florence City Schools. I wanted to do something different, to highlight our senior athletes, let the school, community, and other viewers see our athletes in a different light. This show is designed to be laid back, fun, just kind of hanging out with a serious side built in. I love interacting with our student body, but I really love interacting with our student athletes. Get ready, because we're about to do something that's really fun on set, as we showcase each of our sports teams throughout the year and show them what they're able to do. Sit back and enjoy. Florence Athletes, hanging with the AD. Hi, I'm Coach Graham. This is Hanging with the AD. This week our show is going to feature our volleyball players that are seniors. The title of the show is going to be Bump, Set, Spike. I know a lot of you may not know what Bump, Set, Spike means in relation to volleyball, but that's actually the main offense that generally gets the game going and gets the crowd into it. Our senior volleyball players on set with me today are ZZ Jones, Braley Lender, and of course Zoe Busby. <laughs> Who's doing a great job not smiling right now, might I add. <laughs> These three young ladies were able to win awards of being on the all-tournament team. Uh, they were seniors that have played on varsity for over three years together. So they're going to Super Regionals, playing tomorrow, and we're really proud of them and their accomplishments. So at this time, I'd like to start with some questions and let these ladies introduce themselves a little bit better to you. All right, girls, this is a big year for you. Um, you three are seniors, as we talked about earlier, and you've had three or more years of being on varsity together, and you made the Super Regionals last year, and you're back there again this year. So I know there's some added pressure, but you know each team that has this kind of success has to have leadership. So who would you consider to be the leader on your team and why? Well, we have so many seniors, so I think that each senior takes their own spot in filling a position as a leader, and we just kind of work off of that. Very good. So that's the camaraderie of a team, good relationships. All right, so here's something I have to ask everyone because I know how I felt when it happened, but uh, what did you think when you heard that we were going 7A? Why? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. Especially, you know, our senior year, I felt, like me personally, I felt like we had finally, you know, Get where we, we were where we needed yeah. to be with yeah. volleyball. Definitely. Right. Specifically, because we made it to Super Regionals and we did well. And then, you know, you're going 7A, you're going to go play even better teams. Right, it, right. it was just, it was, it, a it was a little scary, yes. honestly, because we yeah. didn't really know what the competition was going to be like. We didn't know what we were going to look like in general. Yeah. Like, we didn't know how the team was going to play right. out. Mm -hmm. Well, I watched y'all play against Bob Jones, I think one of your first two games of the season, and which I knew was one of the top teams in 7A, mm -hmm. and they were very impressive, but there wasn't a drop off in our level of competition. So I knew that we had a chance. So it's a compliment to both of you, all three of you, and your team that uh, you're able to get back to Super Regionals in the new classification. So that's a great job. This question's for Braley. <laughs> and anyone can help her answer as well. But we all want to win, but obviously sometimes we're going to lose. So uh, what does losing mean to you? And what do you gain from it when you lose? Well, I absolutely hate losing. Like, it's the worst feeling ever. We talk about it all the time, you know, in practice. You've got to hate losing more than you love winning. And, you know, that I don't think that's any more true for our, our team. Like, it couldn't be any more true. Um, but, obviously, like you said, we are going to lose at some point. We're going right. to face better teams. And we've got to understand that, you know, we've got to do all we can do to compete with them. And we've got to learn from our mistakes and just get better from it. And, no, and nobody wants to do those extra sprints. <laughs> right. Oh, you're right. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah. We don't want to have to go run our mile. <laughs> right. Yeah. Generally, in most sports, there's going to be some uh, repercussions yeah. for yes. losses. Yeah. So uh, yes. there's some there's such things as a good loss to where you yeah. can say, you know, we, we competed well, we played well, and, mm -hmm. and sometimes coaches are like, you know, that team was just a little bit better than us. Mm -hmm. yeah. But then there's those losses when you're supposed to win. And mm -hmm. you didn't win, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and you're just thinking, man, it's tomorrow at practice. It's right. not going to be pretty. Yeah, it's not going to so, be pretty. Right, right yeah. <laughs> yeah, so, yeah. And that's what we, we kind of realize is that, you know, as coaches, we, we don't want to come in and kill your love for the sport, but we also want to get your attention and, right. and say, you know, hey, we got to get better at what we're doing and try to get there. So good job. 
But one of the things we focus on at Florence High School is life after graduation and what our students and student athletes are going to do with themselves after they graduate. So ladies, I'd like to ask you, what are your plans after you graduate from high school? I plan to attend the University of North Alabama and possibly major in nursing. I'm going to UNA to play, so super excited about that. Um, and then I'm going to be majoring in secondary education. Okay, well, as of right now, I'm kind of like working out the choices I could take. And I'm thinking about playing, thinking about just focus on, on my school to make sure that I can get everything done without having to fo focus on volleyball too. So we're just going to have to see where it plays out and takes me. Good deal. Well, the good thing is all of you seem to have a good general idea of where you want to go with it. Um, people change their minds all the time. So if you do change your mind, it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. But you also need to know that at some point in time, you do have to get serious about it because adulthood is coming. So you want, you want to make sure you're ready to be an adult too. Yeah. But uh, I changed my mind a couple of times while in high school, never in college luckily. But, uh, and things just kind of took off for me in this field, but uh, veterinarian was my first choice, and uh, obviously I'm not a veterinarian right now, so <laughs> things, things definitely change, but you all seem to have a good plan moving forward. Uh, this is one we're going to have some fun with, because all <laughs> athletes do this, believe it or not, they all do this. Pre-game rituals, something that we do that's weird, crazy, but gets our mind ready for the game, so ladies, tell us something that you do. Tell us it's going to be good. <laughs> Something that you do before the games that's kind of gets you ready to play. Well, my whole day has to be like on routine, like always, or then everything's just messed up. But when we're in the locker room, we, I have to l listen to this certain song every time to get hyped. So. Locker room, bus, gym. Oh, yeah, yeah. Right. anywhere. Outside. Outside. Yeah. Zoe? Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, well, as I'm, you know, overthinking and working myself up before a game, I sit there and I look at myself in the <laughs> mirror and I redo my hair five, six, seven times before I actually tell myself, okay, it looks fine. You got to go. Come on. <laughs> it's time to play. <laughs> so, yeah, that's mine. Bailey. Hair. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so, I get really nervous before games. Um... And when I get really nervous, <laughs> okay, well, I use the restroom like at least five, six times before the game, and I, it just, it's to get the nerves out. But I also, I also have like a not so weird one, and I have practice knee pads and game knee pads. Mm -hmm. And so, you know, I always got to put those game knee pads on, and when I have the game knee pads on, I know it's ready to get, you know, it's time to play, so. Zoe and I were talking on the way up here, and, uh, she and I had one of the same thoughts about pregame. You know, I always wanted to just be able to go to sleep and wake up and it'd be game time. I didn't want to mm -hmm. deal with all the stuff that goes on throughout mm -hmm. the day. And that way you can kind of just keep your mind focused on just that. Because to me, I always worried about distractions. Not that I let the distractions bother me, but just I was just laser focused on what I had to get done. And I wasn't very good, but at the same time, <laughs> I, I had a role I had to play to, to help people that were good around me. So uh, I always wanted to be focused on that. My last question for these ladies, uh, we always like to leave something behind for the players that are upcoming in the program. So ladies, I'd like to ask you if you had any encouraging words or words of wisdom that you wanted to leave for the future volleyball players, what would it be? You want me to go first? It doesn't matter. Okay. Well, let me tell you, it flies by. Like just yesterday, I was a freshman starting on varsity, and that was terrifying, just by the way. Uh, <laughs> but use your time wisely. Like. Don't waste it. So. Um, I think our principal, Dr. Shepard, says it best. You know, hard work pays off. Um, you're not going to get anywhere being average. You're not going to get anywhere training average. You got to go above and beyond to get where you want to be. Mm -hmm. And, you know, once you get started, it's going to be hard. It's going gonna, it's gonna to hurt. You're going to cry. It's, gonna, it's not going to be easy. But it does get easier. It gets better. So don't give up. And I can attest to watching these three ladies for the time that I've been athletic director for three years or more. I've watched you grow up on the court. I've watched each of you go from things that you couldn't do and adding things to your game. That's a testament to your hard work as well as your coaching. But overall, 
think you all gave each player or that's coming up in the program some very good words of wisdom because you want to leave a foundation. I think you three ladies have done a great job of that. You know, back to back super regional is a great platform to take the program up to the next level. So we're very proud of you for being in our program and doing what you've done. Uh, the great models in the hallways as well, and that's big with me. So uh, <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> And we're very proud of them again. So thank you, ladies, for being on my first episode mm -hmm. of Hanging with the yeah. AD. <laughs> yeah. We hope you enjoyed our show of Hanging with the AD. We want to give a big thanks to our TV production crew at Florence High School and these three lovely ladies here, our volleyball <laughs> players that are seniors. Uh, it takes a lot to come on a set for the first time ever and <laughs> get up here and a guy ask you questions. <laughs> so uh, they did a great job for me. Been very proud of them the entire time. I knew I could count on them to kick this thing off with a bang. So <laughs> hope you enjoyed our show. We'll be back soon. We're hanging with the AD. Thanks.